Hello students, welcome to the class of botany. In the previous lecture, we have dealt with your taxonomy lecture. If you want to know more about it, you can go back and uh, search it in the website in order to find out more about taxonomy. Remember in the taxonomy, first we dealt with the early attempts that how the taxonomy came into picture. Now how do we know about that yes, an organism has a scientific name and other things. We know about it because we have already studied about the evolution of it, okay. Now today as you can see we will be dealing with the branches of taxonomy, okay. So let's start with the branches of taxonomy. First you need to know that on the basis of all the embryological evidences, number of chromosomes, chemical approach, everything that we have dealt in the last chapter, now we will be dealing it here, okay. Now they have been simultaneously very professionally divided into certain branches, okay. So let's start with your first branch. First branch is your classical taxonomy, okay. Let me write it down for you so that it will be very easy for you to understand. When we are dealing with your classical taxonomy, classical taxonomy, remember on the basis of these, when the organisms are classified on the basis of natural affinities, when the organisms are classified on the basis of natural affinities, in order to understand more about natural affinities, you need to go back and see the evolutionary history about it. So let me write it down in a very short form for you. Natural affinities, that means an organism can be studied on the basis of cellular structure, okay, which we conclude as ultrastructure on the basis of embryological evidences. Okay. Now all the information given by Aristotle, given by Theophrastus, given by even your Carlos Linnaeus, they have been concluded together in the form of natural affinities and now the branch who deals with it, the branch is known as classical taxonomy. Okay. So now moving ahead, there is a second branch of taxonomy that is your numerical or phonetics or taximetric or Adansonian taxonomy, okay. Let me pronounce it for you again. Numerical is also known as phonetics, also known as taximetric, also known as Adansonian, okay. So when we deal with your phonetic approach, remember these are on the basis of all the evidences that have been provided by the previous scientists, okay. So now the second one is your numerical. When the organisms are classified, when the organisms are classified on the basis of number of similarities and dissimilarities and dissimilarities. So the branch of taxonomy that deals with the number of similarities and dissimilarities, then we are dealing with numerical or phonetic taxonomy. When we talk about number of similarities and dissimilarities, if on the basis of this, if a chart is being prepared, that chart is actually known as dendogram, dendogram. Okay guys, so again on the basis of number of similarities and dissimilarities, if a chart is being prepared, then that chart is known as your dendogram, okay. So now let's move ahead further. The third branch that majorly involves itself into the more ultra structure, yes we did natural affinities agreed, but now we will be dealing with more ultra structure. So that branch is actually known as cytotaxonomy. Cyto means cytoplasm, karyotaxonomy. Karyo means nucleus, okay. So here we will be dealing with if an organism is classified on the basis of chromosome number, 
chromosome number or chromosomal behavior or cell division. So you need to know where you have to put up these criteria. If we are dealing with ultra structure, that means it's a natural affinity. But when we talk about cytotaxonomy, carrier taxonomy, that means we are dealing with the nucleus and the cytoplasm. So by default, it comes into the chromosome. We need to know the chromosome we are dealing with. We need to know the chromosome number, multiplication, or you can say about this cell division. Okay. So last but not the least, we will be dealing with biochemical. Okay. As the name suggests, biochemical, right now we know everything about it. We know ultrastructure, again and again I am telling you, ultrastructure, cytotaxonomy, and we know on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities. Last but not the least, if an organism is classified on the basis of chemical compounds. And now when we talk about chemical compounds, what do we mean by that? When we say chemical compounds, that means, say for example, you have your sunflower, you have your rose. So on the basis of the fragrance, best example or the best property that I can pick up, fragrance. You can say, Okay, so let me quickly give you a review of what we have done so far. If you can look here, again, a quick revision to the branches of taxonomy. On the basis of the criteria that we have done in the earlier video, now we are dealing with the branches of taxonomy. Simple, your classical means normal, natural affinities, phonetics, phonetics number, number of similarities, dissimilarities, cytotaxonomy, karyotaxonomy. If we are studying with, if we are dealing with any nuclear approach or any cytoplasmic approach, then we are studying under the branch of cytotaxonomy. And if we are looking for any chemical component, one of the best example is your fragrance. Or you can talk about hormones also. That means we are dealing with biochemical taxonomy. Hopefully, students, you have been able to understand the topic, okay? So, simultaneously in the next videos, we will be taking these taxonomical lectures forward in order to understand better the living world. Hopefully, this video has been very useful for you. Thank you so much, guys.